The Cleveland Indians activate 43-year-old Jason Giambi. I'm Jim Basquiat with the latest ESPN headlines alongside Major League Baseball analyst Eduardo Perez. Giambi a year ago had some huge hits for the Indians. He's the oldest player at 42 at the time to hit a walk-off home run. Nine homers, 31 knocked in, and 186 at-bats. What type of player... What kind of traits does a player have to have to be successful coming off the bench in a predominantly pinch hitting role since you have done it in your career? <laughs> <laughs> I think the first thing besides the health is the experience. And the older you get, the easier it gets for a hitter actually to come out in those situations, those tight situations where you know you can control your nerves, where you know what the pitcher's tendencies are and you know what your strength is, and you know what the situation dictates. Sometimes if you need that home run with nobody on or a runner at first base, down by one, you can go for the fences. If you need that base hit and get and, and be that base runner, you work for the base hit. So sometimes you have to give get what the mm -hmm. pitcher gives you, and sometimes you just have to go for the fences and say, you know what, if I don't succeed, it doesn't matter, tomorrow's another day, tomorrow there's another opportunity. Eduardo, there's a lot of teams that have players that are at, you know, bench players that they, GMs can opt for younger players that have a future with the organization, or they can go with veteran players to kind of fill it out. How important is it, not only from the production standpoint of what Giambi does with the bat in his hands, how important is it to have a player like that with a young team in Cleveland with regards to helping get the other young players mentally prepared? Well, he's pretty much a coach that plays. Mm -hmm. Terry Francona says it best. He's, his part is invaluable to the yeah. team. Uh, he produces, but yet he produces without even playing in the game. Without his name being in the box score, he makes the younger players better. He, he uses his experience, and then the players that are playing with him know that he's done it because they're watching him do it. He's in the grind. It's not like when I turned to be a coach, mm -hmm. players are like, really, back in your day? This right, pitcher yeah. didn't throw that hard, or you sure. didn't have a cutter or a slider or a sinker, which we did, right. but they never appreciated you going through the grind with them. So he's that extra coach that Terry Francona can lean on, yeah. and he's a guy that has been there, and he can trust in giving him his opinion. That's Terry can, give, can get his opinion sure. from uh, Jason. So I really like the fact that Terry Francona values that veteran player where a lot of other organizations don't understand the value of having that veteran player in that clubhouse in the grind with the other players. In a sense, help bridge that generational gap between the manager and the young collection of players. You have somebody in between as a layer to help these young players understand, in a sense. Without a doubt. And when you have young players like the Cleveland Indians do, mm -hmm. to come back from making an out after an at-bat, Jason Giambi knows how to talk to that player. He has that sensitivity factor that you need. He's seen a lot. He's done a lot. And those players are going to go and, and really take in all that information. He knows because he did it with the Cleveland Indians in almost the exact same role. So Jason Giambi, after missing the first 18 games of the season with a rib fracture, is back for the Cleveland Indians as he's been activated off the DL. You can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com. For Eduardo Perez, I'm Jim Basquiat.